Are you being a star again, Pess? Right, what we're going to do, what we're going to attempt to do, eh, Pess? We're going to attempt to turn you into a TV remote detection dog. Because I'm fed up with losing a TV remote, aren't I, Pess? That's going to involve some shaping, which is going to be the first point. I need to get him to uh, have some value in the TV remote. So we're going to be shaping him onto the object. That's going to have to progress to him picking it up and to him giving it to me, which he's actually got a handover command queue anyway, so that should be quite transferable. Uh, what else are we going to do? So the TV remote, what I've done, I don't know, can we see? Can we see? Let's come over here. Seat. Good boy, wait. TV remote has there's no waiting he's really interested in it has got turn the screen back on some tape on the back of it so it's not so slippery for him inside the cover I've put a tiny and when I say a tiny I've put a tiny bit of scent I mean probably quarter of a drop of scent inside this cover on a little bit of cardboard so I probably can't smell it no there's a little bit of something there but very low amounts and I've actually chosen lemongrass because I don't use it in the kitchen or anything else and this means he's got something to find the bloody thing with that I can top up because I've actually got two of these remotes one works in one room one works in the other so it'd be nice to get him on finding the right one in the right room I can use two different scents of that you're well keen to go on your purse so first things first what I'm going to do because I've got this object in my hand I'm holding it I like this object it's my object Probably as soon as I put it to the floor, Percy's going to do something. He's going to look at it, he's going to move towards it, he's probably going to touch it because he already wants to. So I'm going to start marking as soon as I see any interaction with it at all and slowly bring him closer, slowly shake him closer. You bugger off, Pess. I'm going to pop, pop my remote on the on when you've stopped eating. Why to use soft cherries? Put my remote down. Good boy. Make sure that wasn't a fluke. So my first one generally is going to be a toss away. The next one's going to be rewarding. Good boy. He's actually smelling the back of it already. See it. Like I say, my first port of call is to get him to target it. I don't want him to do anything else, I just want him to come back to it. reason I've moved to reinforcing him over the top of it is because I want him to get that scent in. Good boy. Cool. Now what I'm going to do is our Winks come to join us. You come to join us Winks? Sorry, you're not getting any treats. You're not going to be. Good boy. So, what I'm going to try and do now, because I'm fairly convinced he's targeting it, he's done loads of targeting, that, that's quick. Not all dogs are quick like that. I'm going to hold it for him, and I'm going to try and mark him, opening his... <laughs> good boy. Are you coming up? Good boy. So I'm going to mark that touch. Probably going to get a bit of frustration coming, and that's when he's going to start to mouth it. I don't want to hold it too long, I don't want him to lose interest.
back on it again because I'm a uh, good boy. more interaction. Get it. So I'm not allowed to pick these human objects up. Behavior. See, there's a little bit of frustration coming in. Might need a new scrubbing mate after this. I'm going to have to give him a break. He's going to have a little bit of his own, a little bit of a wind up. You kicked. Good boy, awesome. See that little mouth just start to open then. Okay, let's have a break. Good boy. A little break. Where's your toys? Let's get a sock. Yeah, let's get a sock. We're going to do some fun. We're going to have a bit of fun again. And get some, yeah, get some, get going. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to do with us. That's what we're going to do. Uh, Post last play. He's a play dog. Thank you. Good boy. Thank you. Good boy. Let's try your again, Pess. My bad, I've got no treats in my hand. My bad, Pess. Oh, I'm going to get a free one on the floor. It's pretty cool. You can see he's a little bit of play, got him back in the arousal zone that we need him to be training. Or oh, just shaped bloody chin farm. Thanks, bed. Thanks, bed. Good girl. He's just starting to open that mouth. Good boy. See, little thought about it then. What well, you got to give him time? Yeah, good boy. Probably should have marked that. I've moved my criteria now to a little bit of an open mouth. Yes, good boy. Good girl, if you're standing up in that case. Good boy. Oh, is it then? Good boy. 
boy. Yes. Yes, can you just put that because I have a proper open then. Indigestion. Good boy. He's got lots of training stamina. Bro, I wouldn't have gone this long. Just, just so you know. I'm probably going to give him a break in a minute. So this is a lot. Good boy. Well done, Purse. Well done. We'll have a little break. There you go. You can have, do a bit late in learning and have a little think about it. Good boy. Ready? Get it. Have a little play. Whoa. Get it. Play. So Purse is so much better and you'll find this, especially if you're doing one-to-one -one training. And boring tasks like your bed, your bed, it's boring. If you're a dog, just going to a bed every time, getting treats, brilliant, yeah. The actual behaviour and what you're doing is pretty boring. It's not like I'm playing with a dog, do you know what I mean? That's, it's pretty cool, isn't it, person? You love playing with a dog. So if you're doing boring behaviours, or you're repeating behaviours, or at the end of the session, at the beginning of the session, it's important to play, I mean, this is how a purse plays. Briar prefers me bouncing around on the floor, having a bit of fun with him that way. You don't want him over aroused, you don't want him under aroused. He needs to be awake to learn, you know. You would notice that halfway through there, he was a bit like, yeah, which is great and getting fed, but you know what? There's much more to life than just nosing his target. And it embeds that learning as well. I'm going to get my finger bitten because I'm talking to a camera and I'm not concentrating on the little puppy who's naughty. He's not even a little puppy anymore. <coughs> oh, thank you. See, that is a little bit of purse again. Over aroused. Isn't there, purse? Okay. <laughs> Good boy. Catch you in a bit.